We hear more and more about the use of stem cell technology in medicine these days. Well, now it's also available as a cosmetic treatment for skin regeneration and stimulating hair regrowth. Among those companies offering stem cell technologies is Calisim, the cosmetic arm of stem cell research company Cell Research Corp. And to explain how and from where their stem cells are sourced and how they're used, I'm joined by one of their representatives, Oliver Tobin. In this interview, he explains the science behind their products, including the advanced hair system, which sells for £408 in the UK, less in the US at $360, and that's for a six-week treatment programme. You then move on to a maintenance programme. They also have a multi-action anti-aging cream priced at £227 for 50 grams or $200 and their professional serum which is an eye-watering £110 or $100 for just 5 millilitres. I can hear some of you cry, why are you looking at such expensive stuff at the moment? And I have had a bit of a run exploring skincare innovations which are more costly and I promise to turn my attention to skincare products that represent best value in upcoming interviews and take a look at some of the research relating to topical hyaluronic acid as well and whether it really is all that good for our skin. You'll find in the video description links to the Calisim products we're about to discuss in this interview and more about their ingredients and to some related articles around stem cell use in skincare and safety. My husband is gamely putting the hair renewal treatment to the test at the moment. So we'll report back on the results with all important before and afters in November. And before we hear from Oliver Tobin of Calisim, it's important to note that their ingredients don't include actual stem cells, but an extracted conditioned media from them, which Oliver explains. And as a biological science graduate, he's well placed to do it. Let's hear now what he had to tell me. Oliver, thank you very much for sparing me some time today. I do appreciate it. All the way in Singapore. <laughs> Not at all. It's wonderful to be here. Thank you so much, Claire. Oh, you're welcome. Um, can you start by just telling us a little bit about um, Calisim and, you know, why and who started it and, and what you do there? Of course. So Calisim, uh, we are based in Singapore. We are a whole, wholly owned subsidiary of a parent company, Cell Research Corp. Cell Research Corp is actually a biotech company. It was founded about 20 years ago. Its goal is to heal unhealable wounds, specifically diabetic foot ulcers. And we can go into the science of that a little bit later on. But Callison was born out of that technology. And now that technology is stem cell technology. Callison is a cosmetic range. We have anti-aging cream, we have post-procedure care uh, serum, and also, very excitingly, that we uh, I'm excited to talk about a hair product. Yeah, I joined Calisim about a year ago. I work predominantly in the sales and marketing team. Um, I'm very, very excited to to educate your your viewers, your subscribers about a very interesting technology that not many people know about. Does that mean when you were saying it, it, the, uh, that you had seen evidence of wound healing with stem cells? Does that mean the founders had they'd seen that themselves? They'd been using that in a medical context. CRC or Cell Research Corp, our parent company, was founded by three individuals. One mm -hmm. of the founders was a Vietnamese doctor. And he, just in the late 90s, early 2000s, was working in a Vietnamese burns hospital. And he noticed that when you apply stem cells to a burn on an adult uh, patient or a victim, those wounds healed as if it was a child. Now, children, have a very, very high concentration of pluripotent stem cells that are actually captured when we're in the womb from the umbilical cord. That means wounds from a child heal much easily and much faster than an adult. So they began investigating why these wounds healed much faster when stem cells were applied and discovered that this conditioned media that I can talk about in a moment actually triggered our own stem cells and our own cells to behave like a child's cells. So the wounds began to close. So they put this technology to the test and they started to develop a drug called Corlicite for uh, wound healing of diabetic foot ulcers. Now, not many people know about diabetic foot ulcers or DFUs. 
they are actually uh, more deadly than both breast cancer and prostate cancer. Wow. So an individual who has DFU, it's a diabetic foot ulcer, which is caused by the lack of circulation to the extremities, especially on the feet. When an individual gets a bump or a graze, those wounds just do not close because there isn't the circulation down to the extremities. This then leads to a chronic wound, what we call a chronic wound. They stay open for a long, long period of time, get infected. Mm. And typically those individuals have to have their beginning with their toes amputated and then their, their limbs amputated. So an individual with a DFU has a mortality rate of within five years of 40%. So 40% of people with a DFU will die within five years. An individual with an amputation that goes up to 75% of people in mm. five years will die if they have an amputation from a DFU. Uh, early 2000, around 2002, Cell Research Corp was founded. They began developing the drug Corlocyte using human umbilical cord lining stem cells and a condition, in a condition media that I can talk about in a moment, which actually showed to close these wounds, which is groundbreaking in this field of, field of science and medicine and technology. Nothing uh, until then was able to close these wounds. And it meant that these people were able to get back on their feet, they were able to go back to work, and their quality of life increased drastically. Is that widely accepted in medicine general, stem cell technologies used in, in that situation? When, when the company is founded, um, our founders have the decision to, be, to, to make. Do they sell that technology to someone else, a bigger partner? Or do they develop it themselves and try and change the world for the better? And they chose to try change the world for the better. Mm -hmm. We have that drug Corlocyte going through FDA approval now. It's okay. actually just past phase one uh, since, since we last spoke, uh, which is amazing news for us going into phase two uh, at the start of next year, which is very, very exciting. When they were doing their initial tests with Corlocyte, they noticed that when applying the, 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 the drug to the wound, not only did the wound close, but the skin around the wound looked healthy again. And people with di diabetes, especially type 2, not only do they have these diabetic foot ulcers, but they have severely dry skin and lots of skin problems. And the skin looked healthy. So they began to investigate, why was the skin looking healthy? And why, why wasn't it just the wound that was closing? And realized that there was a cosmetic benefit of the drug, Corlocyte. So that is when the idea of Calicin was born. Now, I notice um on the marketing it says that the stem cells are ethically sourced so i'm just going to start out by asking the question on everybody's mind you know where do you get the stem cells from that is, that is a question everyone asks quite rightly and we're very very open about it so colocyte the drug going through fda approval is using human derived stem cells from the umbilical cord lining calisim on the other hand is using red deer umbilical cord lining stem cells it's not human derived so you can sell it in many different markets. Secondly, there is no zoonosis, which is the transfer of disease between different species, between a red deer and a human. We found a red deer farm in, in New Zealand. This farm is actually, they're, they're, they're reared naturally, organically. Um, they're actually raised for their antlers, which are sold to the, the Asian markets because they sh red deer sh uh, shed their antlers each year. We harvested the umbilical cord lining from one single red deer. And now what does that mean? Every single product that Calisim has ever made, ever sold, and continu continuing to make now has come from one single red deer umbilical cord. Wow. Meaning it's highly, highly ethical, highly sustainable, and no harm has ever, has ever come to the deer or the fawn. The umbilical cord would have been birthing waste. It would have been thrown away. Yeah. So it's extremely ethical when it comes down to, to, to that. I mean, let's talk a little bit about how, how this works and starting with the hair serum, which my husband is now trying. So I get to do with that. You, you provide a little stamp, don't you? Like a, a stamp with tiny needles yeah. on it. And it's my job to do the stamping, which I find quite enjoyable. <laughs> Sometimes, if, you know, these annoying me. There's a very heavy stamping that goes on the back of the head. So we, we stamp and then we apply the serum and rub it in. Correct. And Correct. we're doing that over eight weeks. I've taken some before pictures and we're going to see what happens. But how can stem cells regenerate 
hair growth? And is there any independent evidence for that? The AHS, the Advanced Hair System, which is our hair restoration and hair maintenance product, was actually born out of a very happy accident. I'll get onto the two products later, but our hero products were our professional serum, which is a pink little serum, and our multi-action cream, which is our general corrective treatment, anti-aging treatment. We have a great relationship with doctors. Originally, Calisim was just, uh, we used to just sell to clinics, used to sell to doctors. And these wonderful doctors used to use it on a number of different condi skin conditions. Mm -hmm. We had a doctor that began using it on the scalp. And she said that she started to notice over a period of around six weeks, hair regrowth in a patient, which we found fascinating because we, we had nothing, we didn't know that we were going to develop a hair product. So what we did, we took the pink professional serum into our labs, looked into why there was hair growth being generated, tweaked the, the, the condition media a little bit, which I can talk about in a moment, specifically for hair regrowth. And then we resold re it as AHS, as our hair regrowth product. There are a number of reasons why people lose hair. And in men, about 50% of men um, have genetic alopecia, so androgenic alopecia. Similar in women, um, but there are a number of different types and reasons why people have um, hair loss. One of the main ones is actually inflammation of the scalp. And that causes the hair follicle to go into a dormant stage where it just does not produce hair anymore. It also can lose pigmentation as well, which is very, very important. So things like stress, um, whether you've, had, you've been unwell, COVID-19 hair loss is a huge thing, which I can talk about in a moment. Your hair follicles go into a dormant phase. What our product actually does is turn on that mechanism of hair regrowth and restoration in the follicle, as well as decreasing inflammation on the scalp. Now, the condition media that I've been talking about alluding to is a what well, in our a AHS an 80% concentration of stem cell derived proteins growth factors, cytokines, other anti-inflammatory factors, as well as anti-rejection factors that are naturally secreted by the umbilical cord lining stem cells. The way that we create this incredible potion, this soup, is very, very simple, actually. We take the umbilical cord lining, which is the membrane around the, cord, the umbilical cord, that has an incredible, incredible amount of these pluripotent stem cells. What does pluripotent mean, sorry? Pluripotent just means that they're very powerful. Pluri okay. is many and potent is, is powerful. Um, it's it's the, the top type of stem cell that can differentiate okay. into many, many different types of cells, as well as uh, re regenerate into more stem cells. Mm -hmm. So there are two main types that we use. It's the epithelial stem cells and mesenchymal stem cells. There are about 6 billion of each of those. So 6 billion epithelial and mesenchymal stem cells in total in the whole umbilical cord. And we can just regenerate that. So, you know, when I went, I mentioned earlier about it being a very, very sustainable, we can just keep regenerating those stem cells. From that one now, umbilical cord. From that one umbilical cord. That was cord. a good buy. Yes, it really I don't was. I what a you paid for that in, umbilical cord. In that, in that deal. <laughs> We've got a very proud deer roaming around um, <laughs> in, in New Zealand somewhere. <laughs> so what we do using those stem cells, if you, if you were to imagine a cup of tea, when you make a cup of tea, you have a tea bag and you have your boiling water and, and milk, if some people like milk. You put your tea bag into the water, the mm -hmm. tea leaves are inside the tea bag, and the tea diffuses out. The hot water causes the tea leaves to diffuse out into the water, creating the pot of tea or the, the, the mug of tea. You then take that tea bag out and you remove the tea leaves, but you're left with a pot of tea. It works in a very, very similar way for our stem cells. We submerge or we, we put our stem cells, the, the umbilical cord lining stem cells into a solution and they release all these incredible growth factors, over 3000 different growth factors, proteins, cytokines, anti-inflammatory factors into this solution, which we call our cord lining condition media. We then remove those stem cells. So there is no cell uh, or cell components or DNA in our products. And you're left with this incredible 
potion that we create, which is our condition media, which goes into every single one of our products. So, I mean, who does it work best on? If I take a, a male who may have been bald, you know, completely bald on top for some time, I mean, is this worth trying or is that just, just false hope? Is there, a, is there a point from which this is unlikely to be effective? We, we never want to overpromise as a, as a brand. And I think all brands will understand that. Um, every case is different. Uh, mm -hmm. Some people have hair loss because of different reasons. We've had an incredible, which I, I would like to share with your, your audience and your subscribers. We've had a, an incredible result in the past two weeks of an individual who has alopecia areata, which is alopecia caused by an autoimmune condition where right. their own immune system attacks the hair follicle on different parts of the scalp. Typically it causes um, spot balding. So just there's a, there's a patch of, of balding on the, on the head. This individual, it may, it may be genetic, so they may have had it for their whole life. We applied our AHS, our advanced hair system, to the bald spot and noticed hair regrowth. So within that, we know that callosin can work on even things like autoimmune induced alopecia. We are developing this more. We're investigating this much further. We have seen incredible results in uh, clinical studies, both in Hong Kong and one that's ongoing at the moment in Europe. And also one of the most exciting things is our COVID-19 related hair loss treatment. Now, there was a, a study done earlier this year for COVID -related, related hair loss, we're using minoxidil, which is the industry standard at the moment for, for hair loss, LED light therapy, mm -hmm. and also our own advanced hair system. And for all severe three. COVID related- In tandem, they used all three together. They used them all separately to begin with. Okay, to compare, yeah. Yeah, to compare, exactly. And what they noticed is that individuals with COVID-19 related hair loss, we're just talking about the stress and the, the hair follicles going into a dormant phase, those with severe hair loss, minoxidil and LED light therapy did not work. It was only the advanced hair system that was able to regrow and revitalize their scalp. Well, are you, are you saying you're seeing results across the board regardless of what the situation is? Yeah, both in men and women as well. Regardless very, of very... how long they've had that hair loss, you are seeing some regrowth. Are there exceptions? There are there are some exceptions when it comes to people who have had prolonged hair loss and the hair follicle may be dead. Um, right. In that case, the regeneration of the hair follicle is very, very unlikely to happen. However, our messaging behind this is to catch it early and to keep those hair follicles vitalized and regenerated and the scalp under a, a stable condition, you can stop the balding that would inevitably lead to the hair follicle death. Okay, but you would need to keep using it. Of course, Over yeah. So there is no, yeah, there is no cure for hair loss, um, especially if it is genetic. Um, yeah. It's just predisposed. People are predisposed to that. You would need to continue use of the product. We recommend a six-week treatment program, which is two applications a week mm -hmm. by week five and week six. We are typically in about 99% of people seeing results. Okay. And then we suggest a three month maintenance period. So it's using the same amount of product, but over twice as much time where you yeah. only need to apply once a week. Okay. So, I mean, that that's hair. Uh, for skin regeneration, um, I mean, what, what kind of effect can it have on our skin? So our, our skin products were our first products. It was the professional serum, which is a little pink um, vial uh, of our condition media. This has the, the highest concentration of our condition media at 80%. This is typically used for post-procedure uh, treatment. So whether you have CO2 laser, whether you have an at-home derma roller, at-home LED light, even an exfoliation of the face, it is best to then apply professional serum. This because of it, its high concentration, is able to calm the skin very, very quickly to enable both enhanced results from the original uh, aesthetic treatment, but also for your own cells to, to begin to produce things like collagen, HA, hyaluronic acid, elastin, and other things that your skin needs to feel youth, youthful. 
the whole message behind aging is actually the skin cycle time. When we're very young, your skin cell turnover is around 22 days. So you're turning over a new set of skin around every, every 22 to 28 days. As we start to get a little bit older into our late 20s and 30s and 40s, that time period is extended to around 45 days. So you can imagine there are skin cells that are twice the age of what a young skin cell would be. The way that the R products work, especially the professional serum and the multi-action cream, it, the cell signaling, which we're going to talk, talk about in a moment, turns back that cycle from 44 days back down to 28 days. It encourages those stem cells to turn over and regenerate into new skin cells. So that is why you not only see enhanced results from the aesthetic treatment, whether CO2 laser or the microneedling, you actually see increased in production of collagen, your hyaluronic acid, and your elastin, which makes your skin feel and look fuller. So what is it actually doing in the skin? I mean, how, you know, there's a, there's only a, there's a certain level to which a, a, a topical product could be absorbed. I mean, what is it doing once it gets into the skin? Yeah, and that is why our products are so special. Um, the serum, for example, it actually causes a cell signaling cascade, which is able to penetrate deep past the epidermis into the dermis. And that cascade is done by these growth factors and paracrine signaling between the cells. Yeah, because, I mean, growth factors, I just talked about another very expensive skincare range um, the other week that, you know, uses growth factors. Um, you, you're hearing about them more and more. It's very hard for the consumer to know the quality of that, how they work, what kind of difference it makes. Um, one one comment I did get uh, was from somebody who had spoken to their dermatologist about growth factors and, and she had apparently, you know, queried the safety saying, well, look, not, not enough is known about the impact of, of putting these things into our skin. Um, I mean, what would you say to that around safety? Um, how long have has um, you know stem cell treatment been used in the skin? What do we know about its safety? Of course, and we completely understand those questions. Stem cells is very much a buzzword for people at the moment. There's lots of uh, stem cell therapies, which are drugs that are being used, going through trials at the moment in hospitals and for, for doctors. But for us, the Callison, we have 20 years of backing. We have a biotech parent company that is going through FDA approval at the moment, which has done all the research for us. And we are continually learning, continually testing all of our products. So what I would say to someone who is concerned is if they are concerned, we don't want to force them to use it. We want to give people the opportunity to use cutting edge technology. But if they are concerned, we don't want to pressure them. They can always speak to their doctors. We have a scientific advisory board, which is very, very important to us. One of the leading growth factor doctors in the world, Dr. Mitch Goldman, is our chairman of our scientific advisory board. And he is known as the grandfather of growth factors. He, he, he joined very early on and he's been super, super helpful with, with us. Um, he's been one of our key opinion leaders, which has been great to engage with other clinics, other doctors. We have not seen any negative results we do not have any known side effects well that, that's crucial that's what i was going to ask next you have not seen i mean how have you any idea of how many uh people within your trials customers so on what 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 kind of number are we talking about that we're, we're talking about thousands here okay you know uh both using our crc uh our, our parent company the the trials that are going through there our day-to-day -day consumers that are, that are purchasing on our platform and in our clinics, our doctors that are using using our um, our products in clinics. Um, there, there is there is one thing that I would say, a caveat, um, because of the nature of the product, we we don't recommend people with active acne to use our products. Okay, partly because of the bacterial infection within the skin, the growth factors and the, the proteins. Um, can uh, sustain acne growth. However, on the flip side of that, we certainly do recommend our products for things like acne scarring, and we've seen incredible results, and myself included, um, acne for acne scarring, um, which has been brilliant 
for pitted skin and for, for darkened skin, uh, it's been wonderful. And we've actually so, got a, a, a number of clinical abstracts on that topic itself. For anti-aging, okay, so uh, take somebody with, you know, um, sagging skin, age spots, wrinkles, what kind of results are you seeing there over what time? Can you tell us, is there any particular skin complaint that it's very good for in terms of anti-aging? Yeah, so what, one of the most common is just the fine wrinkles and sagging of skin. Mm -hmm. This is very common, it's the, it's the lack of collagen, and it's the lack of elastin in the skin. We typically like to say up to 60 days of usage. However, in some of our studies, we've, we've seen difference within four weeks. All depends okay. on the person and how, how often they're using it. We recommend twice a day, both AM and PM, but we have seen results up to four weeks. And again, we like our clinical studies. We have got clinical studies on this as well, which I'd love to share with you and your subscribers. Yes, I do. And I'll include um, links in the video description as well and Wonderful. to the products so people can have a look, uh, look at the related studies um, and, and make decisions for themselves. And of course, my husband, watching him out there in the garden, just making sure he's keeping working. Um, <laughs> He's going to try this for six weeks. We're a week in. Um, I am going to start using the skincare uh, products um, on one side of my chest where I'm doing a, a, a laser treatment at the moment just to see. And also the back of one of my hands as well uh, to see what, what kind of difference we can get there. Um, thank you, Oliver. Anything that you want to add? Um, when I first joined the company, I was blown away by the science, not just behind Callison, but behind CRC. And we are very much of the, the opinion that even though Callison is cosmetic, every drop of serum, every drop of cream that is sold is going back to CRC to improve the lives of those people with diabetic foot ulcers. Thank you. And um, you have kindly offered as well when this video is published, because this works really well when I'm speaking with experts and specialists, to just have a look through the comments over the first couple of days to respond to any questions, because you know <laughs> there's going to be a limit uh, to what I can answer based on this conversation. So um, you, you'll do that for us. Of course, yeah. I, I would I would like to say as well, um, depending on when that this is aired, we have uh, an opportunity for individuals to try the professional serum for free. Um, okay. So with with any with any purchase, you'll actually be getting a small vial of the professional serum this is our hero product that we recommend for at home use even with exfoliation or that's a, a for your or, skin for your skin yeah okay and, and right. any question uh, just please let me know in the comments thank you very much